It's a Rick and Bubba news. News update. It's a Rick and Bubba news. News update. Rick, do you remember the high school in Texas that was shut down from having religious sayings and Bible verses on their banners when the football team right. run on the field? You know, a lot of times high schools, it, it, it's pretty common I, that, you know, the run-through sign, it might have a Bible verse on it or, you know, an inspiring word from the Bible that might be applied to athletics and and things like that. It was pretty common, but there was an actual suit brought against them, was it? They couldn't yeah. do it? And, Rick, uh, this week on Wednesday, a Texas judge ruled that Bible banners waved by cheerleaders during football games in a small school district are constitutional. They're protected free speech, and that the tradition will be allowed to continue. Amen. Good. He went on to say no law prohibits the cheerleaders from using religious-themed banners at school sporting events, State District Judge Stephen Thomas wrote in a two-page final ruling. He had temporarily ruled in favor of the cheerleaders in October. For generations, it has been the tradition of this small town of 2,100 people in the Piney Woods of East Texas for cheerleaders to write Bible verses and religious messages such as, If God is with us, who can be against us? On large sheets of paper, the football players would then run through the banners when they take the field for home games. Yep. The Freedom From Religion Foundation, a Wisconsin-based group that promotes the separation of church and state, sent the superintendent a letter last year complaining that the banners were a violation of the Establishment Clause of the U.S. Wrong. Constitution First Amendment, which states that the government shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. Of course, they left part of that out. The last line, or to get in the way of the freedom of expression. Right. They always miss that part. Yeah. When the district tried to block the use of banners in response to the group's letter, the Texas-based Liberty Institute, a group that says it is dedicated to defending religious freedom in America, sued the school district on behalf of the cheerleaders. Look, I applaud them. That They've used this technique of suing and threatening to sue to get things done that really are not constitutional. And I applaud this group for standing yep, up, yep. counter-challenging them, yep. filing the lawsuit if it takes that. I hate it come to that, but if you have to, you have to. And defend these kids' rights to put Bible verses on there. Listen, putting a Bible verse on that banner does not establish a religion that is sponsored by the state. It does not establish a denomination sponsored by the state. It is what it is. It's simply a Bible verse that is meant to inspire. That's all it is. I will say this. I find it weird that this group that goes out and tries to trump this stuff up, they've used two phrases to represent themselves that don't even exist. Freedom from religion does not exist, and the separation of church and state does not exist. They're using two phrases that aren't even accurate. Yeah, they need to call it what it is. It's called the Establishment Clause. It says the government will not establish a government religion, or better, even translated, a government denomination. Nor will they get in the way of people expressing their beliefs. 